So you're the one, huh? The chosen one. The one who's going to lead us through all of this. Sorry. If I were in your shoes, I probably wouldn't want to be called that. What's your name? I'm Justin. I'm here to get you ready for the next part of your journey. And I know you just got here, and it sounds like you guys had it pretty rough getting out of the city. Well, this camp is fairly safe for now, but there's fighting everywhere. It's getting pretty bad out there. They'll find it before too long. So, we're moving you to another location. It's farther out in the country, but it should keep you safe, at least for the next stage. But we have to take you through the woods. Well, the team's gonna take you. It's a big forest to the west of here. I'm gonna get some camouflage onto your face in case you guys run into an enemy patrol. And they say there are a lot out there. You, know, you can hide. You're not going to get spotted. And they'll be able to provide you with some clothes to go with this, but let's go ahead and get you ready. First, though, special happy bills. I know you had a pretty hard hike the last day or so. Help keep you from getting sore. Now you're tough. That's good. You'll need that. But don't forget the long journey ahead. This is just the beginning. You have to take care of yourself the whole way. Alright. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do because you might have to do this yourself later on. I'm not here. So what we're going to do with some black and green and brown. So nothing fancy, just what we could get a hold of for the moment. But I'm going to break up the outline of your face. I have these brushes. Uh, it's able to scrounge up. It's not exactly uh, high fashion. You don't think that I'm painting a cabinet or anything, but I have to make do with whatever we can get a hold of. But our face is very symmetrical, and it's very noticeable. Even if we cover part of it, the things like the eyes are still very distinctive, the ears. So when I apply this, it's to help break up those symmetrical features and the irregular shapes. If you look at the landscape, you don't see nice, neat patterns. Faces really stand out. So we're going to put different shapes on your face. Get rid of those distinctive features. So, we'll start with some dark patch. Just to break up that area around your eye. distinctive about your face. It gets blended into the shapes around it. Yeah, things were pretty tough getting out of the city, weren't they? I know this all must be happening so quickly for you. It must seem so crazy things people are telling you. I mean, what were you doing a couple days ago? Teaching school? Something like that? Yeah, it's crazy. We knew something was going to happen, but it happened so quickly, none of us were prepared for that. I 
there's something about you. As much as I believe any of this stuff that they say about the one that's going to lead us, there is a strength in you. Maybe it's something you haven't used in your life before this, but you can see it. It's reassuring. People are going to need that. It's clear you have a good head about you. Don't lose that. Need that. There's so much happening so fast. Don't lose yourself in all of this. People are going to want to use you. Want different things from you. Let's talk. The reality is there's a lot of different factions at work here. Make sure you do what you think is right. Be true to yourself with all the huge decisions you might have to make. I know. I know it's weird to even talk about it. But make them as you would make them on your own. Not what everyone else wants you to do. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Pretty good. Not the most beautiful thing in the world, but this isn't a fashion competition. The point isn't to look beautiful, it's to keep you alive, keep you from being seen. All right, you're gonna have to go soon. I know things are happening so fast, but I have something. I think you might like, so give me a second to go grab it. All right, so they brewed up a big pot of tea. So that's what I have in this canteen. I feel it's still warm. It's good on the hands. And I even managed to get a pretty decent mug, which are a little bit hard to come by right now. good. Surprisingly good. You know, I traveled with some English guys once, and we run into a few situations in our travels. And one of them told me, he said, you know, when everything goes all to hell, things are insane, seems like too much or too crazy or you don't know what to do. Just sit down, have a cup of tea. 
that was all. Sit down and have a cup of tea. You'll figure everything out. Everything will be much better. And you know, frankly, advice doesn't seem so bad right now. Oh, one more thing. You probably shouldn't tell anyone about this, though. and tea. You know, what do you make of that? It's a crazy times. So, I wanted to give you a couple things, though, before you leave. First, the flashlight. Always useful. See how your makeup's doing. Yeah. A little bit of a touch-up. So, a knife. It's handy. Who knows? You can use a knife for about anything. Best to be prepared. But you can see it's got this clip. You can clip that onto your belt or your pocket. Keep it with you. Those men and women out there who are going to take you, they're all willing to die for you. I know. I know. I would. F I know you didn't ask for it. But it's the way it is. What everyone's saying, the reality is that you're more important than any one of their lives. Mine too. We'd all be willing to sacrifice for you. But as much as they're willing to help you, there might be a time when you have to go on your own. I don't want you to be afraid of that decision. You know, those are a couple little things that might help you along the way, but you have to be ready and you have to be willing to do what it takes. I know you can do it. You want me to go with you? That would be an honor. I would be honored to go with you. I wish I could. Unfortunately, there's other things that need to be done. For to be successful, I have to do them. I can't promise you that I'll ever see you again. If I made that promise, it would mean I wasn't taking the risks that need to be taken we're going to see this thing through. But I know that you can do this. I know you have it in you. You have the strength 
and the will and the judgment to make it through all of this and to be the leader that we need. You have to be. A lot of people are counting on you. And I know that's not something that you want or feel, maybe even feel like you can do. But now's the time and you can do it. And I'll tell you, I'll do everything I can to be there when this all goes down at the end. Until then, Godspeed.